Good morning, Avids, and welcome to another edition of Sound of the Sixties that we're beginning this week with the Alan Price Sets 1968 arrangement of the Sonny Rollins song, Don't Stop the Carnival. No, don't stop the carnival. No, don't stop the carnival. You'll never find the best of it. No, don't stop the carnival. You have to sing the night and day away. No, don't stop the carnival. This is England on a winter's afternoon There is no sun, there's just a pale and tired moon The shivering sparrows on the smoking chimney tops And all the children suffer from cold and flu and gray Alan Price's fifth top 20 hit after his departure from the Animals. Requests in this hour will be for records by Farron's Flamingos, The Hullabaloos, then loosely connected Billy Joe Royal, Gene Pitney and Neil Young, and finally Elvis Presley. The first of those will follow the serendipity singers who were formed at the University of Colorado in 1962 and kept enlarging as their career progressed. By the time they moved to New York in 1963, they were seven strong, expanding even further to nine, consisting of seven men and two women. In 1963, they were signed to the Phillips label, where they recorded the single Crooked Little Man that was subsequently repressed with a new title, Don't Let the Rain Come Down. Ah, ah, oh, no, don't let the rain come down. Oh yes, my roof's got a hole in it and I might drown There was a crooked man and he had a crooked smile Had a crooked sixpence and he walked a crooked mile Had a crooked cat and he had a crooked mouse They all lived together in a crooked little house Ah, uh -huh. oh no, don't, don't let the rain come down Oh yes, my roof's got a hole in it and I might drown Well, this crooked little man and his crooked little smile Took his crooked sixpence and he walked a crooked mile Bought some crooked nails and a crooked little bat Tried to fix his roof with a rat-a-tat-tat-tat -tat -tat. Oh, no, don't let the rain come down Yes, my roof's got a hole in it and I might drown Now this crooked little man and his crooked cat and mouse They all live together in a crooked little house Has a crooked door with a crooked little latch Has a crooked 
crooked roof with a crooked little patch. Ah ha. Oh no, don't let the rain come down. Ah ha. Oh no, don't let the rain come down. Ah ha. Oh no, don't let the rain come down. My roof's got a hole in it and I might drown. Oh yes, my roof's got a hole in it. Now that 1964 American number no. 6 was successfully covered in the UK by Ronnie Hilton, whose version reached number no. 21. And now for our first side one request that comes from Roger Daniel in Southport, Lancashire, who says he often hears the song Do You Love Me, played by either Brian Poole and the Tremolos or the Dave Clark Five, but rarely the less successful version by Farron's Flamingos. The group became one of the top bands on the Liverpool scene when they signed to the small independent Oriole label who decided to put their version of Do You Love Me on the B-side of their single See If She Cares. With insufficient funds, the label had to rely on the publishing company for any publicity. You broke my heart because I couldn't dance. You didn't even want me around. But now I'm back to let you know we can really shake them down. Yeah. 
Brian Paul heard Farron's Flamingos perform Do You Love Me when they were on tour together and decided he'd bag the song, resulting in a three-week stay at the top of the charts in 1963. And so did this week's featured album and the debut by Tyrannosaurus Rex that reached number 15 in the charts, going under the catchy title of My People Were Fair and Had Sky in Their Hair But Now They're Content to Wear Stars on Their Brows. The entire album was recorded and mixed in just four sessions at the AdVision Studios in central London. This is its opening track on side one, Hot Rod Mama. track from the debut album by Tyrannosaurus Rex and we'll hear track two on side two in the second hour of the program but right now the eighth American number one for the Supremes You Keep Me Hanging On co-writer and producer Lamont Dozier came up with the idea of the stuttering guitar line inspired by an American radio station signal for news flashes the girls recorded the song nine separate times before ending up with the version with which they were all satisfied.
can do about it. UK number eight for the Supremes in 1966 brings us to the career of New Zealand born Ray Columbus, who, with his band The Invaders, became a major star in his hometown as well as Australia. They toured with some of the biggest names of the 60s, including Roy Orbison, who thought they were the loudest group he'd ever heard, the Rolling Stones, who watched them perform from the side of the stage, and Del Shannon, who wanted them as his permanent backing group. Now the RPM label has released a 29-track CD of their material, including some of Ray's solo recordings, along with his work with The Challenge, The Art Collection and Fire.
1968 solo recording of Happy in a Sad Kind of Way by Ray Columbus, now available on a new CD. Our next request comes from Philip Crossland in Driffield, East Yorkshire, who says there was recently a 60s exhibition at the Hull Museum that was largely concerned with the short-lived local group the Hullabaloos. He says an East Yorkshire stately home squire, Sir John Chichester Constable, took great interest in the band, often inviting them over to perform. Philip goes on to say that they achieved two minor hits in America and wonders if there was any chance of us finding either of them in order for everyone else to hear what they sounded like. <laughs> co-written by Norman Petty and originally recorded by Buddy Holly in 1958, performed there by the Hullabaloos, making number 56 in 1964 on the American Hot 100. And whilst on the subject of the American charts, this next record from the same year became the first and biggest American hit for Jerry and the Pacemakers. Credited as being composed by the entire group, this is Don't Let the Sun Catch You Crying. Don't let the sun catch you crying The night's the time for all your tears Your heart may be broken tonight But tomorrow in the morning light Don't let the sun Catch you crying The nighttime shadows disappear And with them go all your tears For the morning will bring joy the sun catch you crying We know the crying's not a bad thing But stop your crying when the Be hard 
to discover that you've been left for another. But don't forget that love's a game, and it can always come again. Oh, don't let the sun catch you crying. Don't let the sun catch you crying, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. And number six in the UK and number four in America for Jerry and the Pacemakers brings us to this week's trio of loose connections, as suggested by Pam Benstead from Kempsey in Worcester, whose challenge is to find a link between I Knew You When, an American number 14 by Billy Joe Royal from 1965, then two from 1968, the American number 16, She's a Heartbreaker by Gene Pitney, and finally the lengthy Sugar Mountain by Neil Young. You were sad and all alone You didn't have a anyone That you could call your own I knew you when Your heart belonged to only me But that was many tears ago Now your love is just a memory yeah. Have a lot of fun But someone you could offer more Now I'm the lonely one I knew you win You were just a scared little girl I used to be your only love Before you came up in the world Yeah
Sugar Mountain With the barkers and the colored balloons You can't be twenty on Sugar Mountain Though you're thinking that you're leaving there too soon You're leaving there too soon It's so noisy at the fair, but all your friends are there. And the candy floss you had, and your mother and your dad. Oh, to live on Sugar Mountain, with the barkers and the colored balloons. You can't be twenty. On Sugar Mountain, though you're thinking that you're leaving there too soon, you're leaving there too soon. There's a girl just down the aisle. Oh, turn and see her smile. You can hear the words she wrote as you read a hidden note. Oh, to live on Sugar Mountain with the barkers and the colored balloons. You can't be twenty. On Sugar Mountain, though you're thinking that you're leaving there too soon, you're leaving there too soon. And you're giving back some glares to the people who you met, and it's your first cigarette. Go、oh, to live on Sugar Mountain with the barkers and the colored balloons. You can't be twenty on Sugar Mountain, though you're thinking that you're leaving there too soon. You're leaving there too soon. Now you say you're leaving home 'cause you want to be alone. How you feel when you're finding out it's real? Oh, to live on Sugar Mountain with the barkers and the colored balloons. You can't be twenty on Sugar Mountain, though you think it. Too soon.
Tracks, selected by Pam Benstead, who says she can rarely guess the answers to our loose connections, so decided to set one of her own, explaining that the link is that all three artists have recorded songs about Tulsa. Tulsa by Billy Joe Royal, 24 Hours From by Gene Pitney, and Last Trip to Tulsa by Neil Young. And I can only congratulate any of you who worked that one out. And after a spot of Radio 2 promotion, we'll hear the biggest solo hit by Heinz. <laughs> song to the late Eddie Cochran, Just Like Eddie, was the biggest solo hit by Heinz, released in 1963, soon after he left as bass guitarist in the Tornadoes. Our next song was written by Billy Page and arranged by his brother Gene, The In Crowd, and gave Dobie Gray his first international hit in 1964, despite his record label having doubts about releasing it.
Houston, Texas, Dobie Gray moved to California in the 60s where he met Sonny Bono, who became his mentor. And so we conclude our Keep It In The Family feature with one of the most successful bands of brothers, Barry, Robin and Morris Gibb, or to us, the Bee Gees. This 1967 number one was written by all three members of the group with its full original title being partly in brackets. The lights went out in... Massachusetts, in response to Scott McKenzie's number one hit, San Francisco, be sure to wear some flowers in your hair, telling how the lights were all going out because all the hippies were heading for San Francisco. Keep It In The Family feature to a close, the Bee Gees. Now, many big stars recorded at Chips Moman's American Studios in Memphis, including Dusty Springfield, Wilson Pickett and the Box Tops. But the biggest star of all to walk through the doors of the Thomas Street building must surely have been Elvis Presley. And one of the songs he cut there in 1968 was a cover of Hank Snow's original 1949 recording of I'm Moving On that Elvis had enjoyed listening to since he was a teenager. This has been requested today by 23-year-old Tulsa Lange from Norwich, who tells me she was brought up listening to Sound of the Sixties and her parents were such big Elvis fans that they named her after Elvis's character in the movie G.I. Blues. Elvis Presley. And just before we break for the latest news headlines, here's a one-off instrumental from 1967 created by record producer Derek Lawrence for a project he named Soul Survival, an eight-piece group that included keyboard legend Nicky Hopkins and bass player Chaz Hodges, along with a pumping brass section on this Hopkins composition, Soul Soup. <laughs>
After the news, it'll be side two of Sound to the 60s, online, on digital radio, and on 88 to 91 FM. This is Brian Matthew with side two of Sound of the Sixties that we're beginning with a song written by Alan Clark, Tony Hicks and Graham Nash with the intention of offering it to Marianne Faithful with a slightly different title but in the end was recorded by the Hollies themselves as Carrie Anne. here and in America in 1967 for the Hollies. Requests still to come in this hour will be for records by Joe Loss and his orchestra, The Measles, then three in a row from The Pixies Three, The Paper Dolls and The Tammies, and finally a track by Family. And the first of those will follow an American Top 20 hit by The Left Bank and their follow-up to the original version of Walk Away Renee titled Pretty Ballerina, both written by pianist and composer Michael Brown about a dancer named Renee Flayden, whom he had a crush on at the time. I had a date with a pretty ballerina Her hair so brilliant that it hurt my eyes I asked her for this dance and then she obliged me Was I surprised?
Let's go ahead and find her Bank's second and final American Top 20 hit leads us to our first side two request that comes from Jeff Young in Leighton, East London, who says he's never asked for a record to be played on the sound of the 60s before, but would love to hear March of the Mods by Joe Loss and his orchestra. For all those who danced to this and many more at the youth club in the 60s at Chobb Hall in Cobbled Road, Leightonston, including George Smith, Bobby Ives and Ron Johnson. Sixty-four hit by Joe Loss and his orchestra. Joe formed his first seven-piece professional band in 1930 that played at the Astor Ballroom in London's Haymarket and three years later made their first radio broadcast. And so we return to this week's featured album, My People Were Fair and Had Sky in Their Hair, But Now They're Content to Wear Stars on Their Brows, the debut album by Tyrannosaurus Rex, with all 12 songs written by Mark Bolan. Track two on side two is the short but sweet Afghan Woman. <laughs> Yeah. 
the second album track today from Tyrannosaurus Rex, bringing us to a 1962 recording by Freddie Cannon that reached number six on the American charts, Buzz Buzzer Diddle It, written by Frank Slay and Bob Crew, and later became a top 40 hit in the UK when it was covered by Matchbox. <laughs> was the best record never recorded by Bo Diddley. And so to the first single to top both the American and British charts that featured a sitar, the Rolling Stones' 1966 classic Paint It Black, written by Mick Jagger and Keith Richard, that sadly was one of several songs of which they sold the rights to ex-manager Alan Klein.
Ronnie Wood once disclosed that Keith Richard often had trouble remembering how to play Painted Black. He revealed, we always have this moment of hesitation and we don't know if Keith's going to get the intro right. And now a song written by Tom Springfield. This was the opening track from his 1969 Decca album, Love's Philosophy, before it was released by Phillips the following year as a single. His sister Dusty had just issued her recording of a brand new me that had failed to chart, so the label felt there was potential in this duet. But despite a number of promotional television and radio appearances by the pair, Morning Please Don't Come failed to make any great impression. Morning, please don't come Surely you see that my lover is sleeping Morning, please don't come Let the night linger on When the stars have left the sky We must say fun goodbye Make the night a little longer Morning, please don't come Stars shine glow a little stronger Morning, please don't come They don't break for you Following that rarity by Tom and Dusty Springfield, it's time for our second side two request that comes from Carly Baddeley, who tells me she listens to Sounds of the Sixties every Saturday, even though she wasn't born until 1988. She says she loves the music of the period and had a big surprise recently when she discovered that her father-in-law, Stanley Dodson, was in a Sixties northern band called The Measles, so she'd be grateful if we could play one of their songs. Well, we certainly can after I tell you that the group was formed in 1964 by Stan who'd soon adopt the stage name of Stan Red Hoffman given to him by fans because of his flaming red hair. After releasing two singles on EMI's Columbia label they rushed out this version of the Barry Mann and Cynthia Wheel song Kicks. You found the answer on the mat you called me right last night But when you woke up this morning The world still got you outside Ooh, there's nothing that you ain't tried To fill the emptiness inside But when you come back down, girl You still ain't
produced by Mickey Most, the Measles cover of an American hit for Paul Revere and the Raiders that sounded very similar to the original, but neither version charted in the UK. And we follow that with Roy Orbison's second number one to hit the charts four years after his first, Only the Lonely. Written by Roy and Bill Dees, It's Over became the first American single to top the UK bestsellers for nearly a year and was later sung by Michael Caine in the 1998 movie Little Voice. Your baby doesn't love you anymore Golden days before they end Whisper secrets to the wind Your baby won't be near you anymore Tender nights before they fly Send falling stars that seem to cry leading us to this week's three in a row selection chosen today by Steve Scott from Selborne in Hampshire who says he'll be 60 today and was lucky enough to have had requests played for both his 40th and 50th. He says it'd be nice to complete the hat trick by playing a trio of female trios that consist of 442 Glenwood Avenue from 1963 by the Pixies 3, then Someday by the Paper Dolls from 1968, and finally again from 1963, Egyptian Shumba by the Tammies. <laughs>
this week's three in a row, selected by Steve Scott in the celebration of his 60th birthday today. And after our next slice of Radio 2 promotion, it'll be a 1969 number one by The Beatles. The Beatles' 1969 US and UK number one Get Back also credits Billy Preston on the label after he'd been recruited by George Harrison to play on the session partly in the hope that it would defuse some of the arguing amongst the rest of the group in the studio. It was the only time that another artist other than one of the Beatles had been given a name check on one of their records. Our next record is by Florida-born Bobby Goldsborough who in 1962 joined Roy Orbison's backing band and was encouraged to write his own songs with the view of pursuing a solo career. Two years later, Jack Gold, a senior executive at United Artists Records in New York, heard one of his demos and signed him to an exclusive recording contract, resulting in See the Funny Little Clown becoming his first release, reaching number nine on America's Billboard Hot 100, with eventual sales reaching over a million by 1967. <laughs> I remember when I told you that I'd try in every way To hold you and kiss you and love you and keep you till my dying day You just laughed and said you'd found somebody new And you didn't need all the things I could do Now you've found out that your new love isn't true like he should be you say that you're gonna forget him and you're gonna come back to me Well things have changed and I found me somebody new Someone to make me forget about you And I'm telling you that it's too late to say you're sorry It's too late It's too late Many days I tried to call you Many nights I spent alone Everyone knew that I loved you But you had a love of your own Well now that he's gone You think you can come back to me But I'm not the same fool that I used to be And you're gonna see That it's too late to say you're sorry It's too late It's too late to say you're mine It's too late to say you're sorry It's too late to say you're mine I have found myself a new love And I'm going to make her mine It's too late to say you're sorry It's too late From Bobby Goldsborough to Bobby Darren and an arrangement of an old folk song written by Woody Harris as far back as 1884, Oh My Darling Clementine. Darren's version was never intended as a single but was recorded for his album This Is Darren and simply called Clementine. In a cavern down by a canyon Excavating for a mine There lived a miner from North Carolina And his daughter, Chubby Clementine Now every morning, here yeah, just about dawning When the sun began to shine you know she would rouse up Wake all of them cows up And walk them down To her daddy's mine I took the footbridge We crossed the water 
Although she weighed to 99 The old bridge trembled and disassembled Whoops, dumped her in to the foamy brine Hey, crack like thunder Ho, ho, you know she went under Ho, ho, I blow in bubbles down the line Hey, I'm no swimmer But were she slimmer I might have saved That Clementine oh, She broke the record Way underwater I thought that she Was doing fine I wasn't nervous Not until the service That they held For Clementine Hey, you sailor ho, ho, Way out of your whaler With your harpoon And your trusty line If she shows now she blows now It just may be Chunky Clementine One more time Oh my darling 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 Sweet Clementine You may be gone But you're not forgotten That top ten hit for Bobby Darren in 1960 was released here in the UK with a song called Down With Love on the B-side, whereas in America it's Flipper's Tall Story, the theme to a movie starring Jane Fonda, and a song that's never re-emerged on any album or compilation as far as we can tell. And so to our final request today for a track from Family's 1969 album Family Entertainment, John Muggleston has emailed the programme to tell us that he listens in every week from Spain. He says he's having a bit of a do tonight to celebrate his 70th birthday and would love us to play The Weaver's Answer that was later released as a single. Well, a very happy birthday to you, John, and here's your record. Weaver of life, let me look and see The pattern of my life of life Shall on you One second, one glance upon your loom The flower of my childhood could appear within this room Does it of my youth show tears of yesterday Broken hearts within a heart as love first came by Did the lifeline patterns change as I became a man? Edit or untold blends as I guess for a hand. Did your golden needle so it's thread Virginia white? As long as we embrace as one upon our wedding night. Did you capture all the joys, the birth of our first son, the happiness of family made a brother for one? The growing of the brothers, the madness that grew Is it there in detail? Is it there of you? Do the sparks of life grow bright as one by one they run? To live as far as husbands apart from lives in love
My lover's threats cut off when I eat she laid to rest My sorrow blacking out of space upon now woven crest A gathering more than less time as a coffin slowly laying Ash to ashes, dust to dust, the day will win again Does it show the visit smell grandchildren of men? But I'm leaving like the way took my time from me These last few years of loneliness may be Just by sight a shooting star free from your tapestry Deep there in the distance, your new might think I see Could it be that after all my prayers have answered me Back to days of wandering, I see the reason why I Kept it to this minute, for I am about to die From Family's second album released in a picture sleeve that parodied The Doors' second LP, Strange Days. And before today's final record, there's just time for me to remind you that if you'd like a request or dedication for a special anniversary, or have a suggestion for the three in a row spot, or loose connection, drop us a line giving us at least eight weeks' notice for anything date related, as we receive a huge number of letters and emails every week. The first further ahead you notify us, the better your chance of getting your records played. Just write to me at Sound of the Sixties, BBC Radio 2, London W1AA 1AA, or email sots at bbc.co.uk. I look forward to hearing from you. We're ending today with a new 60-track double CD from Jasmine by Little Jimmy Parker, Next Time You See Me and All the Hits that includes many of his most popular songs recorded for the Duke label between 1953 until 1962, giving him a string of big R&B hits in America, including this 1961 release, Annie Get Your Yo-Yo. Wind it up, baby! Annie Get Your Yo-Yo
Little Junior Parker bringing us to the end of another edition of Sound of the Sixties, compiled and directed by Phil the Collector Swern as a unique production for Radio 2. And this is your old mate Brian Matthews saying that's a lot for this week. See you next week. This is BBC Radio 2, online, on digital radio and on 88 to 91 FM.